Turning the dial of the radio in my car. Running to the rain in a dress. Slicing avocados in my kitchen. Sleeping in the guest room of my house. Biting her lip at my bedroom door. Sweet as a tourist at a slot machine. Hungry as a last bed. Putting down my pickup line. Picking her teeth with a hook. Flipping off the mistletoe. Slipping her hand down my jeans on the bus. Trimming her fingernails on my mother's couch. Winking then blowing me a kiss. Offering me an apple. Daring me to demand the orchard. Insisting I come from her rib. Burning through the sugar coat. Burning out my clutch. Topless in my car. Telling me to keep my eyes on the road. Her knuckles between my teeth. Her law on my side. Pulling me over to teach me the respectable way to tear up a permission slip. Dropping it like rose petals on her way up the stairs. Taking the mirror off the bedroom wall. Whispering, don't you want something you'd be ashamed to witness? Breaking my fever with the slide of her hips. Kicking the legs out from under my doubt. Fighting for our honor. Swinging for the picket fence. Naked in the dugout. Waking me from a nightmare. Hanging my past like a sail. Wiping the sweat from my forehead. Whispering, we can go anywhere. Holding my hand on the plane. Wearing my hoodie to the store. Breaking up a bar fight by calling my name. Running her fingers through my hair in a restaurant in the Midwest. Walking through the cemetery in my hometown. Fixing the flowers on a stranger's grave. Carrying our dog to the vet. Holding the ladder while I hang our wreath calling from our porch to come look at the sky calling from our bedroom to come zip up her dress asking for my number every time we kiss looking up from her book to say listen to this line stopping me from carving our initials into a tree whispering everything that grows already knows who we are in her underwear eating ice cream on our roof in her nightgown filling a bird feeder in our backyard in nothing but our sweat on the living room floor turning the dial of our radio saying baby listen you haven't heard this song before nothing had the chance to be nothing ever could yeah Let go of the last drop of whatever elixir you were sold, it's poison. Let go of knowing your wife will die or become as old as your grandmother when she died and you will either die or watch. Let go like your dog will have to, asleep for the last time on the cool metal of a vet's table. I read that 90% of dog owners can't even allow themselves to enter that room. Let go like the 10% who choose to say, goodbye like my mom did, the only sibling my grandmother allowed into her own slow departure, frail and still changing my grandfather's diapers, let go like the water from the river it loved, getting salty, traveling the world, belonging to no one, let go like the capitalists who buy fresh water sources will have to when they force us to let go their heads from their shoulders, like the earth which will let us go from her own desiccated fingers so that she can buy a gym membership and block us on IG and finally get her shit together because we are like the fucking worst and we know it but don't know how to stop which makes it even fuckier. So let go of your hopes to be here tomorrow even as you try desperately to stay, of your expectation to grow old together even as you bring your pregnant wife tea from the kitchen. Today is the only one. We've said it a thousand billion times but seriously, let go of your bullshit 
legit reasons for not apologizing or accepting apologies, for keeping your heart in the leather sack of an archive in a library where only PhDs can check out your heart and have to use gloves when they hold it, let go of ever not being a kid, no matter how many masks you have procured, you're a stupid dumbass and it's lovely and terrible and the only person that you get to be, so even if you don't have the land, pick up the shuffle, then let it go. <laughs> It's a lot to open your eyes in the morning, to taste your unbrushed mouth, to hear thousands of voices and believe your own. It's a lot to lose even one friend, to not be heard or to be heard and still be paranoid that people hate you. It's a lot to put your heart on another's train tracks. To not take a loved one hostage with your fear, with what you don't want to know about yourself. Once, to explain how cold I'd become, I confessed my love to a friend who didn't love me. I felt the words leave my chest, genuine, desperate, and gone. It was a lot. Con Ed Bills job applications, small talk, a lot to shake hands, smile, debate about basketball, eye contact over beer. It's a lot to hide behind a new shirt or old jeans, to grow a beard or to eat a whole pizza. It's a lot to have restraint or jog voluntarily. It's a lot to remember a birthday, let alone to purchase a card and then mail it. To love people as imperfect as you are. It's a lot to not get your feelings hurt. To let emotion pass through you like a wave. To see your mother grow into your grandma. It's all very necessary, but it's a lot. To say, I've been good as a mannerism, to say I haven't as a fact. It's a lot as well to include the good things, to not make a caricature from your sadness, to only get your jump shot so good and still have it fall left, to attend the dentist. It's a lot to be a loving husband, an inattentive uncle, to not know how to respond to an email, so to say nothing. It's a lot, maybe the most, to say nothing. Yes, to say nothing and therefore continue holding that nothing inside you. That is by far the most.